the top eight teams move into the team captain positions of the playoff alliances. The number one team can select any team at the event to join their alliance. If the selected team declines the invitation, then another team is chosen until one accepts. Suppose Alliance 2 selects Alliance 4, but Alliance 4 declines and Alliance 2 selects another team which accepts. It's now Alliance 3's turn, but the same rule applies. Alliance 4 is not available, so Alliance 3 has to select another team from the available pool. And the next alliance can select any available team that hasn't declined an invitation. This process continues through Alliance 8. Notice that a previously unavailable team has become an alliance captain. At this point, any remaining team that has declined an invitation is not eligible to participate in the playoffs because they can't be selected. Alliance 8 now picks their third team member from the remaining available teams. Alliance 7 picks their third team member, and so on, all the way back to the number one alliance. All alliances are now full, so alliance selection is complete. But the next several teams need to be prepared to serve as backup teams if one of the selected teams can no longer compete. Listen for an announcement for how many teams will be asked to serve as backups and be sure to let the head referee know if your team accepts that responsibility. Let's start our alliance selection.